this is the current state of my office guys it's a literal disaster and we will talk more on that soon i'm gonna do my hair and makeup good morning guys what's up welcome back to another vlog i feel like i have not vlogged in forever i've been a little mia today's monday and i haven't really been on instagram stories at all normally i update you guys like what i'm doing and stuff but i have not done anything and it's honestly felt so good i feel like sometimes we just need that but anyways i'm sure you're wondering why my office is a complete wreck so i posted something on instagram last week saying that i was thinking about redoing my office i just had a lot of good ideas and one of the things in Involved going neutral with everything because when I first set up my office the theme was like white gold and pink and I kind of wanted to switch it a little bit to just more neutrals because I feel like that's been my whole vibe this year like specifically 2020 I really switched my whole style like even just like my wardrobe the way I dress the way I do my makeup everything is a little more simplistic so I wanted my office to match that one of the first things that I had to do was spray paint the hardware on my desk white and that was a task but chad and i did that yesterday and it's all finished it's actually out in the living room now and we are about to move it in here and another thing that i'm going to be doing is getting rid of this rug i really just want to tear up all the carpet in here honestly but it's just not feasible for chad and i right now so i just want to get rid of the rug because as much as i loved it when i first got it it's constantly bunching up under the desk so if i do get a rug it's going to be a smaller one and i also think i'm getting rid of my vanity and i'm just going to combine my vanity as part of my desk and i ordered stuff online so i will show you guys everything kind of explain my plan a little bit later but we're going to move the desk back in now so here is the hardware for the desk if you guys remember this was all gold and we spray painted it white it actually looks really really good you can't even tell that we spray painted it i feel like it just looks perfect so we have to put the wood back on top and just screw that back in okay just kidding apparently chad wants to get rid of the rug first so i have to move all of this crap so we can get the rug out God for Chad always putting up with all of my little monthly uh, mon rearrangements. <laughs> monthly rearrangements and brilliant ideas. It looks so good white. I'm obsessed. This looks so much better than the gold. And I'm going to take out my area over here, which was my vanity, and I'm actually going to make it just like this side of the desk. And then I want to put a little accent chair in that corner so that way when I'm like getting dressed I have a place to sit and put my shoes on and also just like kind of like a little reading nook when I want to like sit there and like play on my iPad or read a book, have my coffee in the morning like in the little chair. But I was telling Chad sometimes you have to just like play around when you have a small space to work with. It takes a little bit of trial and error to find out what works and I really think this is gonna be it for me and I'm taking down my little sticker cork board because I bought this thing on Amazon that's so cool I'll show you guys and I really think it's gonna look better than that it's, very, it's a lot more minimalistic less color it's gonna be so cute we're gonna take a look at things from Chad's perspective oh look at him go he hasn't shaved his face in so long because he has not gone to work because we thought we both had COVID and I actually haven't mentioned on the vlog, but I said it on Instagram that we don't have COVID, so he hasn't been to work, but he's going back to work, so he has to shave his face because the fire department requires them to shave their face. But it's so funny seeing him with this like whole beard because I never get to see that. How do you like the beard? Is it going to be sad when you shave it off? No, it's starting to annoy me. He makes me scratch it because it's <laughs> itchy. <laughs> oh yeah, and I'm going to take this. It's normally under my desk, this little like drawer thing, and I'm going to keep it out from under the desk and have it as like a printer stand because my printer happens to fit on there really well. Trooper makes a good little ottoman. Say hello. Say hello. So while I have the desk cleared off, I'm going to go ahead and clean it with this Pledge multi-surface cleaner and then I have a magic eraser to get any of the little like marks and stuff. <laughs> my cork board so it's like this cage thing that goes on the wall 
and you can hang things on it like you can hang a little pencil holder on it or like little stickers and things pictures and it just goes on the wall and it looks really cool on like a white wall and it came with some stuff to hang on it so like these little hooks colorful little pins literally came with a hammer so that i can install it cute little banana leaf to like hang on it which I love and the other thing I got that I think is gonna be really cute is this little macrame planter hanger so I want to hang it like way up on the ceiling and then I still have to get a little planter for it but it basically hangs like right here in the center and then I'm gonna put these fake hanging plants in it which these look really fake so they're not great quality don't really recommend but because I have them I'm gonna use them and just hang them and they're just gonna like fall and I think it'll look really pretty up against the white wall okay so here's the update I moved out this clothing rack and I put it here so here's some of the bunny inventory and I kind of just want to plan out my outfits for my photo shoots on here and then put some like cute decorative stuff up here and then I'm converting the cubicle thing to nothing but organization and stocking inventory these cheap green things are going and I'm replacing them all with like pink and gray ones and it's gonna be nothing but inventory and packaging stuff that's gonna be kind of like my spot for that this desk over here that was my vanity is gonna go in here and I'm gonna pull this stuff out and find a new home for that guys it is the biggest challenge trying to rearrange things when you're working with a small space so I have to get really creative about where to put stuff I did move the printer on there but I feel like there's not enough space now for my accent chair this little corner is like way too small now so I don't think I'm gonna be able to have an accent chair there and I already ordered the accent chair from Target so I'm gonna have to figure something out for that so I got a lot done and now I'm going to run up and grab a coffee I have to drop off some packages from somebody at the post office and I'm also gonna run into TJ Maxx and see if I can find a little rug to go like right here in front of my mirror because I feel like that would look nice since I took the carpet out just to kind of break it up a little bit and then I also want to see if I can find like a little ceramic plant holder to put those fake plants in so that I can hang those up today dropped off my packages and now I'm heading to Target and I'm gonna wait to go to Starbucks until I run all my errands that way I can actually drink my coffee before it melts so I ordered more of those cubicle things on the Target app so I don't actually have to go in there and go shopping I just have to go up to the counter and pick them up and then I'm gonna run over to Marshall's I was gonna go to TJ Maxx but Marshall's is already in here it's basically the same thing so we're gonna go into Marshall's good in there I was not planning on buying like a whole new rug but I found one and I text chat about it and he said to just get it like he thinks that it'll fit and look good in there so I just got it if it doesn't work out I'll just return it my shirt has all this white fuzz on it from that rug I was like hugging it while I was holding it and wow I have a bunch of lint on me. I was about to go to Starbucks, but then I got a text from Chad saying that he wants me to pick up Chick-fil-A for lunch. So I'm just gonna get a drink from Chick-fil-A instead of getting a coffee because I'm not gonna get both. So we're on our way to Chick-fil-A. Okay, I just picked up Chick-fil-A and I said it on Instagram last night and I'm saying it again here to hold myself accountable, but I am getting back into eating healthy and working out again this week. I was doing so well, like literally all of quarantine. And then I had that cold that I thought was COVID and I just stopped working out and I was eating horrible and I really, really need to get back to it. I feel like when I don't eat well, I don't have a lot of energy during the day and I just don't feel good. And I'm just really tired of feeling like that. So Chad's the one who wanted Chick-fil-A. I would have happily made something at home but I got a Cobb salad, the avocado lime dressing, I think it is. I got a Diet Coke. I know the Diet Coke's not really good for me, but I really wanted a Diet Coke. Okay, I don't know why every single time I try to be healthy, this is what happens. Fried freaking chicken. I ordered a Cobb salad. I wasn't even expecting any meat on it. I was just like thinking it would just be a regular salad and has fried chicken on it. I'll eat it. Yeah, you can have it. I'm really trying to be healthy. I just finished eating lunch and I'm gonna take a second to show you guys my stuff that I just got. So first of all, here's the rug. It's this really pretty design. It actually reminds me a lot of the other one, which is why I liked it so much. Very, very soft. It's actually better quality than that other one. And this one's only four by six feet. So this one should actually fit nicely in here without going under my desk and getting all scrunched up, which is what was driving me crazy about the last one. I'm just gonna keep complaining about having carpet in here until Chad finally rips up the carpet and puts hardwood floor in here. And 
and I don't even care if it's real hardwood floor. I literally would be fine with like the fake tile hardwood floor because it's quicker and cheaper. I just do not want carpet. I hate this carpet. I'll show you guys what I got from Marshalls first. Obviously the rug and then I got this cute little fake plant. It's like one of the snake plants And I really like the print on the little planter. I got a pot to put those hanging plants that I showed you guys in Here's what this one looks like. It's like a really pretty speckled design very neutral, which is exactly what I'm going for I of course found a candle because I never ever go into a Marshalls Home Goods TJ Maxx without a candle on this one my DW home and the scent is lava seriously smells so good so if you guys have this scent at your marshals you need to get it because oh my gosh it smells amazing i got this little wired basket by magnolia home i thought this would be really cute to replace my gold trash can because we are doing away with gold with the exception of my mirrors both of my mirrors are still gold but that's like the only thing and now from target i just picked up some more bins to put in my organizer that's now in the closet so i got Four more of these storage bins. I'm gonna be using these for inventory and packaging supplies and all that stuff for the store. And I also found these really cute metal clips in the dollar spot that I'm gonna use for that like wire grid. I thought this would be cute to hang like Polaroids or little inspirational quotes or something. And then I also found this in the Target dollar spot, which was not something I was looking for, but I really thought that it would look nice with the wired organizer thing. It just kind of goes with my theme in here. So it was only $5 and that's all I got. More somebody shirts just came in. I don't know if I'm gonna restock these right away or just wait until the next drop, but lots of somebody shirts. Chad's putting up my little wired grid now. The process for putting this up is so weird. Like the hooks are very strange, but I think it looks good. I'm in the car with Chad now and we're just really hoping that we don't end up getting caught in the rain, but we're heading to go to the grocery store right now, so. We can get our weekly grocery shopping done and I'm getting nothing but healthy stuff. I promise. The rain is coming. shopping and I'm gonna do a little grocery haul because I love doing these so we decided to go to Publix this week just because I really wanted to get my fresh fruit whenever we go to Sprouts Whole Foods Target or anything like that because it's just not as good as Publix so I got a big container full of pineapple and some watermelon we got the Dave's Killer Bread. This is like our favorite healthy bread. It's so good. Some half and half. Baby carrots to snack on. I found everything bagel hummus, which is super exciting. I've never had this before, but I love everything bagels and I love hummus. So I got this. A big container of vanilla Greek yogurt for my yogurt parfaits in the morning. Some almond milk creamer in caramel flavor by Silk for those mornings when I want a little bit of flavor in my coffee. I got three cheese tortellini that I'm gonna have later this week with just like a garlic butter sauce. I'm gonna make this for my Myself. I think I might be making this tomorrow. I'm not sure salad stuff I got a spring mix and a cucumber a couple of peppers some tomatoes So that way I can make a little salad and then just some classic oil and vinegar dressing some apples My favorite apples are honey crisp But I think they might be coming out of season because they did not look good So I got gala apples we got asparagus for tonight We're having salmon and asparagus tonight and iceberg lettuce because we're gonna do chicken lettuce wraps later this week I got a box of this cinnamon crunch cereal because I freaking love this It's really not the best for you, but it's so good wheat thins as a snack to go with my hummus Some more of my red lentil penne you guys know I'm obsessed with this stuff and I got some tomato basil sauce this sesame sauce is what we use for our chicken lettuce wraps some parmesan some more pickles some colby jack cheese to snack on and then the last thing i've never actually tried this brand before but it's just sparkling water by this new brand and it's lemon and it says that they squeeze real lemons into this so i'm really really excited to try this brand it looks so good so that's everything i'm gonna put all of this away now we hung up my little fake plant and it looks so freaking cute we didn't put it actually on the ceiling we just put it like in the corner because we'd have to buy like a special hook that can go into the ceiling and hold weight and chad didn't really want to put a hole in the ceiling 
so we just decided to do it like this but i think it looks really really good and i already ordered some little accessories for my grid board ordered like a little shelf and a basket and then i've got these little hooks and i put our picture of chad and i from our little cabin in georgia and i really like it i hung this little thing up i don't know if i'm going to keep it here which is why i hung it up with tacks so that way i can just easily take it down if i don't like it but yeah, it's really coming along. I told you guys I was working out again today and I was not playing. Here's my workout outfit. I have not put gym clothes on and I'm not kidding you guys, like literally two weeks. I'm so embarrassed to say it because I was on like such a good routine and I just lost it when I got sick. But I've been better now for over a week. I was just waiting on my test results to come back in before I worked out because I just wanted to make sure I wasn't like pushing myself if I did have COVID. But I don't, so we're going to get our workout on. I'm just wearing my Lululemon Align leggings, my Adidas Swift Run sneakers. I think that's what these are called. This is a Lululemon Energy long line bra. And then this is the Lululemon matching headband. It matches these leggings. And I'm gonna take my gold jewelry off, so don't worry. Chad's across the street right now talking to our neighbor. So I'm just sitting here on my yoga mat waiting for him to come back so we can work out. And I'm so mad because my Apple Watch is dead because I haven't used it in like forever and it was in my purse dead. So I can't track my first workout in two weeks. That sucks. Okay, here's our workout to just kind of get ourselves back into it. 15 air squats, 15 sit-ups, 10 dumbbell curl to press, eight burpees. While Chad's doing the burpees, I'm gonna do a wall sit because burpees always make me feel like I'm gonna pass out. It's something to do with my heart. It's just too much, I don't know. It always makes me feel like I'm gonna faint. So I'll be doing a wall sit and then we're both gonna run a lap and we're gonna do it five times. Guys, that was, so bad <laughs> so bad but so good i'm like literally i wasn't gonna wash my hair but it's wet like i'm so freaking sweaty because it's so hot outside and i also just haven't worked out in forever so it's really tough but i'm gonna go get in the shower because i am like so gross right now we are about to eat dinner right now and oh my god i am so excited asparagus salmon and couscous we just finished eating our dinner and it was so good and so healthy which was very needed because this past week chad and i have eaten out more than we ever have like just so much takeout because we've been so freaking lazy so i'm really glad that i was productive today it just kind of like kick-started my week but chad is going to help me self-tan my back and i'm going to self-tan all of me tomorrow morning i have a little photo shoot and we're going to get some fresh content for the week shoot some stuff for some money and do all that good stuff and i have to self-tan so that way i look good why are you staring at me Okay, well anyways, I am gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.